All right, welcome. Uh, hopefully I actually have the right mic set up. I realized a few minutes in the setup that uh, once again I had set up the headset mic, which is almost always permanently muted. So this would have wound up very much like the start of my actual game, uh, which you can find on my YouTube. I did finally f go back and edit the first 15 minutes of that uh, video out. So it does actually start with the game. Um, so that's always a good thing. Um, so tonight we're going to go ahead and make another one of Marty Makes Things as Maps. Um, as you can see in the bottom corner. Um, uh, who was it that linked me that? I want to say it was something teapot. Um, I meant to... Meant to remember this, and then completely forgot. A teapot error from the Discord server uh, has found us another map to do. Uh, ironically, yet another Marty Makes Things map. Um, which, I really like Marty Makes Things as a map for the purpose of Tailspire, because he tends to do things in isometric view and in blocks and squares, which both lend themselves very well to Tailspire. Um... So I think for this tile set, we're going to go ahead and focus on, I want to say, I did kind of spend some time reacquainting myself with the tiles uh, a bit more. Um, and while I do think a lot of this looks very cathedral-y, hmm, yeah, I think we're going to go with, with Morgoth. Um, for a lot of this. Uh, make a nice smooth dungeon. Um, it seems like the kind of thing a uh, eh, maybe let's 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 layer down some of this floor and see how I like it. Um, yeah, yeah that looks good. I like that. So we're gonna go with uh, Morgoth. It, it is uh, it is a very nice tile set. Um, we're going to go ahead with Morgoth for most of the tiles here. Um, especially because I'm seeing carpets in uh, some of this area, and Morgoth has the carpeted bit of tiles, so that works out quite well. Um, I'm also seeing where it looks like in the church area down there at the bottom, it kind of has an inset. I'm going to interpret that as being wood. Um... So we'll go ahead and definitely switch to the tavern set a little bit to just lay some floor down there. Um, unlike his other map, this one is a lot less um, strict on exactly how many tiles there are. It's kind of left more freeform. Uh, so I'm just going to do my best interpretation of it, and uh, we'll see where we get. So last time I started at the top and went down. It was only a two-floor dungeon. This one looks like to be three floors, uh, though there are some varying heights. I'm still only going to make it three basic floors. Uh, we have our bottom, which has the uh, library chapel, uh, looks to be a small treasure room, a magic circle, the dragon's hoard, and the hallway where the dragon likes to hang out. Um, then we go up a level where we have the... Uh, kind of arched way area. I'm not exactly sure what purpose that room serves, but it looks cool. Uh, and then we have a area with a spiral staircase there. Um, and then we go up and we have uh, kind of a little uh, entry area filled with water, it looks like. Uh, it's a little Escher-esque up there. Um, from what I can tell, the the tiles are doing weird things in my brain as I stare at them. Um, but we're still going to go ahead and have this just be uh, three floors um, and see how it goes. <sighs> okay, so we're going to start at the bottom. Um, let's get some of the wall in there. Ah, yes, that's, Morgoth is a very nice tile set. I do like it. Um... Ah, oh, there's my guide. I was wondering where that center was. Uh, we're going to start off with um, 
what looks to be that uh, church chapel like area. Um, so I'm gonna say that's probably. Eight. Our door is going to sit there, uh, which I have to, I should get this wall on my hotbar. And then a good two tiles right there. So we'll get our floor, little one by one floor piece. I'm also going to get the 2x2 two two there. And get a... It looks actually... It's a nice iron door. It's a gate. Uh, which feels a little odd going into our chapel. But hey, I'm not going to complain. Now that did not go where I wanted it to at all. There we go. Our nice chapel door. Our chapel gate. Oh, that's an interesting effect there. Um, as part of... So by using the 2x2s two two versus the 1x1, one one, we do have a different texture there. Um, so I'm going to get rid of those and get the 2 down. Because I'm going to wind up replacing some of those. Are they in this one? Yes, they are. I'm going to get some of them with the, uh, with the candelabra and lights in there. Um, at some point, but if you have watched any of my previous streams, you'll know I, I kind of have a method to my madness uh, where I like to build things out and then go back in and modify them to better fit whatever I have in mind. Um, so let's go out. It's about... Yeah, about yay. About yay wide. Uh, so descriptive. Uh, where's my corner? Here's my corner. Sometimes it's just quicker for me just to be like, oh yes, grab this version of it. Oh, I didn't realize I actually grabbed the corner with a floor tile. Which is not what I wanted at all. Um, where's the corner without a floor tile? There it is. Place that boy down. Delete these guys. And start getting this one in instead. Nice and aligned. Just the way I like it. Um, I'm actually going to go ahead and shortcut that guy if I find him in here. I think it's this one. No, that is not the one I used. It was... That guy. Yeah. All right, uh, let's get the wall back in here. Ah, because I made it uneven with the door. Tricky, tricky. Where even am I in the selector? Nope. There we go. Little off kilter, uh, but it'll work. All right, so we got our basic floor over here. Which I'm gonna say is only three out. And then we actually have some wooden floor for our 
Tavern. Okay, good. I was about to say, I really hope there's a one by one in the tavern. I totally blanked for a minute. Get some varying patterns in there by doing a rotate on every other one. Not quite a nice as nice pattern as I had in my brain, uh, but it works. This happens when you don't plan things out and you just go. But that's what makes it fun. Um, I think that about covers the basics of this room. So let's go ahead and start sprucing it up, shall we? All right, we have a doorway over here that leads out. Um, and then we have a bit of an altar up here in the front. So I'm just gonna give it that. And then we have our two, I think I have a nice in the Morgoth set block pillar. Oh, that's too small. Is what I want in here, though? No. There we are. A nice big block. One there, and one there. Oh. There. Okay, now we're going for props. Yeah, yeah. I'm not that worried about it. Um... Honestly, when when you look at the room as a whole with all of the props in it, the pattern doesn't stand out as much anyway. Um, so I'm not that that concerned about it. Uh, what's nice is this actually works this go around. Um, there are two statues that each take up a single space, unlike last time where my uh, everything was a little little off. Um, I could have swore there was a really big pew-style bench at one point. Where has they gone? Castle table. Bench shabby. Well, guess it's just a bunch of shabby benches. I think it was the ca- Yeah, the castle table was what I was thinking about. But he huge. He a big boy. Uh, so let's go ahead and could be the tables. Mm, just a bunch of thrones. That'll work. Um, no, we'll go ahead and use the shabby benches and make ourselves some pew pews. Oh no, they're not quite as next to each other as I hoped. Hmm. Do the table can the tables get placed next to each other or do they have a lot of breathing room as well? They have less breathing room. Which is kind of what I was aiming for. So because the minis don't really care where they go, that's what I'm gonna use. Is the tables. And actually, I just realized that they are all off by one. Ah, no. And it looks like I'm just placing a bunch of them now. And I'm going to go through and clean them up. Clean that guy up. There we go. Ah, not quite. Ha! All right, and then I know we have a 
altar somewhere in here. I, I, unless I'm, again, being like, oh, wait, no, it was deprecated. Yep, it was deprecated tile, wasn't it? Or maybe we never had one to begin with. Uh, actually, there is a tile that might work really well in here. Uh, so you... One of these sewer tiles... Huh. Had... Like a little lip to it. I thought. I thought they did, um, but it doesn't seem they do anymore. Curses. Unless it's in the dungeon set. Or is it cobblestone? Aha! It is cobblestone I am thinking of. Unfortunately, cobblestone is only huge. So it doesn't quite work as what I want anyway. I don't think any of the floors in here do what I want. Nope. I mean, I could just be misremembering the tiles. Uh, it sometimes does get long enough in between that I'm like, oh yeah, I remember this thing. And then I'm just imagining it because I saw like a fancy Dwarven Forge tile instead. Um, so since we don't seem to have an altar prop... I think I will just put god this is one of my favorite soundtracks crazy tavern is like my favorite favorite one um i'm just gonna put a thing oh somebody followed thank you vlad for the follow <laughs> maybe perhaps uh there was some wide stairs that i keep overlooking uh, so yeah, we're going to use those as an altar, and then we're just going to extend this by one. Oh, uh, no, that doesn't look... <sighs> I hate things being off-center. Nope. Hmm. Grr, grumble. Altar. You know what? You know what this place gets? This place gets a coffin, cause, cause that's what we get. Coffin. Awesome. It's now a burial site. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and replace some of these walls with walls with torches in them, shall we? Replace that one and that one. Uh, we'll get that one and that one. That one. No, these two instead. Aha. Nope, because that's not symmetrical. These three. Nope, nope. Not looking look not liking look at that. Alright, get all those back. Oh, I can't get symmetrical because there's like this one single single guy over here. That's what's looking weird. Okay, I'll fix that. Um, yeah. Yeah, 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 you're right. I should do that. There we go. Alright. Where's my...
Fancy walls. Although I do always find it funny that the, uh, the light can actually be seen from the other side. single tile wall there we go that'll do yes uh, sorry I um, was in the middle of the, the, the altar thing but yes it's nice to see you uh, I hope you had a wonderful first Gen Con um, I was running around like a chick of mad cut off half the time because all of my events were on the opposite corner of the convention from my hotel. So that was fun. Yeah, we'll, we'll say that. Um, oh, there's actually not a door into this next room. It is just open. It looks like there's actually a water channel uh, a little bit, but I'm not going to worry about that. I'm just going to make it so let us build a new room um, I'm gonna do I always like doing this to kind of give me into a hall a little bit of a like new room type feel um, this one's a smaller room this one's not that big uh, so I'm actually just going to go straight to using corners again. Nope, wrong corner. This corner. And then... Oh, it is kind of submerged, actually. Interesting. Not going to worry about that. Not even going to... Not even second thought right now. Just, just going to... Build my place. All right, so let's get our wall. There's a lot of walls to toggle between for Morgoth. Yeah, I actually wound up uh, being a nice, nice number, nice number of things there. All right. Uh, so let's go ahead and get our floor in place, and then I will start fancifying things. Do I actually have enough? Yes, I do. Perfect. Alright, so this kind of has some big mumbo-jumbo magic circle. Uh, so we're actually going to wind up utilizing some of the carpet tiles, I think. And we're going to put a nice big carpeted space pretty much here in the middle, uh, which is going to get rid of most of our tiles because, hey, uh, <laughs> that's, that's, what, that's what happens when I don't, I don't think. Just build. Oh, nope. One tile. There we go. Alright, we got our carpeted sides. You know, I can't help but wonder if maybe there's actually a, uh, a little piece in the dungeon that actually might work better. Because this floor looks kind of crumbly. Nah. Nah, this'll work. Carpet. This is a fancy place. 
This dragon likes to be fancy. So our, our last place was Charles. Charles's mansion. Um, this place belongs to a dragon, is what I'm deciding. What is the name of our dragon? Fireproof carpets, yes. Fireproof. Oh no, it's a, uh, it's not a fire dragon, it's a, it's a, a ice dragon. Totally. With all the, with all the water theme in this what looks to be in this place? I'm gonna say it's I'm gonna say it's a ice dragon. I don't know. It's Durgan. He's doing Durgany things. All right, gonna need a door there. Gonna need a door here. Actually, this isn't even a door. This is just straight up an exit. But this one's a door. Um, now we're gonna go ahead and sink into our. In the dungeon tile set, I did notice we have crumbly pill pillars. Yes, the crumbly pillars will work nice here. Uh, so they have a nice symmetry to them, so I'm going to set that up as well. Um, I'm just going to rotate these guys. Um, I don't think I have any sort of prop I can use for the magic circle on the floor, unfortunately. That is the tavern set. That is not props. Um, so, I may be SOL there. Yeah, I don't think I have anything uh, to put there. So... You know what that means, guys. Chess. Always chess. Alright, so let's go back into Morgoth. I need some pillars in these corners. Gonna need those a lot, I'm sure. Nope. I thought that was right. There we go. Yes, yes, I definitely need to put in some candelabras here. Uh, we're going to put one there, and there, and there. I like, I always like the three, the, the three candled ones a lot, personally, um, versus a lot of these others. Uh, although alcove lit is actually, that is what I'm using, never mind. I'm using alcove lit, but it has a floor on it. Um, I'm actually going to favorite that. Uh, I, I, I tend to like alcove versus the floor. Um, I think alcove is fancier. Hello. Hello, hello, everybody. Uh, glad you're coming in, and thank you for the follow. Um, I'm not sure which follow that was. It kind of uh, kind of died on me. Um, I have my, unfortunately, where the pop up comes up is behind the giant map, so uh, uh, that I'm using for reference. Uh, so I'm actually not seeing those pop up notifications. But thank you. Um, I should probably figure out a way for me to be able to see that. Uh, Alright, where were we? Um, figuring out a way out of here. Mm, doors. I feel like this belongs... This gets some double doors. Uh, so let's go ahead and plop those guys down. And get some double doors here. Nope. Not quite. There we go. Man, so many people. I'm gonna hit affiliate in no time. No, I still gotta stream like... This is day three. So I still gotta stream like... Uh, 
four more days before I can hit affiliate. Then I can get my own emojis. Uh, hey, thank you for the follow. Uh, again, somebody. Stupid. X split being dumb. Not showing me things. All right, now gotta can't be distracted. Um, I only got so many, so many times, so many hours that I want to spend doing this tonight. Um, cannot afford too much distraction. Uh, well, uh, yeah, I gotta do this. Yeah. All right. Um, so we're gonna go just up here to a corner. We're gonna turn. Ah, no. Uh, we actually still want that to be too wide after we turn, so that has to be a one wide wall, which I'm gonna pilfer from over here because I know it exists. I do a lot of uh, quick pilfer when it comes to my tile sets. Um, I try to utilize the shortcuts more and more. But you will consistently see that I'm just like, oh, there's a tile. We'll just grab that. Because it's there. Um, actually, this needs to be out more. Now that I do that. It's... Ironically, I still need a one tile there. Um, no, nope. Ah! Wrong button. Dagnabbit. Brain, work. Thank you. There we go. So now I can come down here. We'll travel down to this bit. Uh, yes. Yes, I, my notification does come up on the screen. Um, my problem is that I can't see that. Uh... <laughs> My XSplit preview window is behind my uh, giant map reference that I'm using to actually build this off of. And so I have, like, one monitor that's nothing but Tailspire. The other monitor is chat and uh, and the map. And then behind that is my preview of my, my Twitch where I can actually see the notifications, which is covered. So... Man, people are just doing all sorts of things. Thank you. Uh, okay, so I got one there. I'm gonna need. Oh, this is a this is a big hallway here. All right, so that's like a four hallway. Where that guy sits. And this leads down to his treasure room. Which he does have a door on. We're just going to say that he has a regular door. Largely so that I can do that sheet. With my tiles. <laughs> um, Alright. So, let's go ahead and build another tiny little hallway here. Grab you. And then we will start building. Okay, let's fill in the floor for all this. Uh, grab you. Now, see, I, I use my shortcut instead of. Oh no! All right, that's fine. Will it fit? It fits. Therefore, it sits. I love having that flexibility. Um, this feels wonk. Um, all right, let's fix that. That's a one and a one and a fill pillar. And then same thing here. One, one and a fill pillar. I'm telling you that uh, wide corner, <laughs> wide corner piece is the one thing, the one tile I need in my life. 
Out of all the other tiles that are missing, that's the tile that I need the most. Is that that white corner? Is that in the test tile set? Is there is there a corner like that already? There is not. There's just the pillar, the the corner filler. Um, it does it it does the job. Um, I feel like the Morgoth filler may just be too thick, is what it is. So it feels real weird. Um, I don't think there's a, a skinny fill. No, he's just too chonky. He stands out. Because uh, I remember the dungeon one felt quite right. Now let's go ahead and take a look at that real quick. Yay. I just want to see. I just want to do a quick comparison here. Um, oh, that's Morgoth pillars. Yeah, so you can't even tell with these dungeon ones where I use them. Because they're the same, the same thickness there as the... Uh, as of the surrounding walls. So it works out really, really well. Um, but Morgoth is a bit of a chonkster. Uh, Chief General Chonk. Um, so he is not, not quite as, thank you for the follow. Uh, not quite as, as done well. Uh, He's had a bit too much to, a bit too much stone to eat. Um, I'm just rambling now. All right, so now we get a little treasure room. Uh, I know I could technically do up that hallway some more, um, and I'll come back to that. I'm trying to. This is a big dungeon, and I only got so long to build it. So I'm trying to build it quick. Uh, this is a pretty small room though, so. That helps. Which is weird for a, a dragon's horde. Nah, it's at least another two tiles out. I apologize if um, my mic is picking up the dogs downstairs. Big house, sinister the mic, loud dogs. And people just got home, so uh, my door is pretty closed. But um, they they like to bark when when they sense people. So <laughs> they are uh, they are loud dogs. They're good. They're good. They're good dogs. I love them. Uh, they are not my dogs, so it's real nice. I get to uh, enjoy their company. Uh, and enjoy them being dogs, and, and the cats for that matter, uh, without any of the responsibility. Uh, I just get to love them, and it's pretty awesome. Nah, that being said, I do still look after them uh, whenever I need to, uh, whenever whenever I see that they need they need love and attention, I give it to them. All right, that wall, that wall, and. Sure, that wall. That is going to be my candelabra walls. Alright, time to fill this with treasure. I know we got treasure. We got piles of treasure. Ha! this guy first. There. Now this guy can go on top of that. Yes. And then we're going to get an actual chest and get it here in the corner and it's going to be a fancy chest. Yeah, because who knows what who knows what that's actually filled with. But I, I like I always like having the chest animation. I'm gonna stick it on the floor, just so it's more 
more next to the characters. Oh, that looks pretty. That's a nice, that's a nice treasure room. All right, let's get a door, and uh, we're gonna say that it's a fancy door because, oh no. The two pillars do not quite make a wide enough. <laughs> you know, I think a mini might still not be able to see past that, but now I'm not so sure. Um, uh, what could I do to make that work anyway? I think I'd have to put some one tiles down. There we go. That'll work. Um, you can kind of, so unfortunately this guy's a chunk, uh, but you can see I can kind of rotate it in the space so it takes up one of the four corners of the tile down below it. Um, but then it still takes up a good chunk more. Um, but it wasn't quite able to fit to the door. So, despite feel, still feeling... I still have this board open. Let's ignore that. Um, that works. So, there we have our, our, we have our treasure room for the Durgan. We have our uh, cheese uh, summoning room, uh, which has been successful. I'm going to rotate this one. Um, man, symmetry drives me crazy sometimes. Um, this is where our dragon lives, is down this hallway here, so I'm gonna uh, spruce up that a little bit. Give that some light. Alright. Because we got a nice fourth hallway down to about here-ish. And then we're going to build up oh, here for a nice little area for him to stand on. Unfortunately, the dragon is still only um, a one-by-one -one creature. Little corner stackers. Little corner stackers. Oh, these guys? Mm, no, nope, can't use that there. Um, I assume that's what you meant was those guys. Um, there's also the fancy pillars. Um, The tiny one of that. If it exists, it's not in the Morgoth set that I see. So, um, I'm trying to stick away from test tiles because although they um, work, oh, is is there is there really? Oh, aha! That's exactly what I needed that's not visible so most of these other tiles uh, still exist within your selector um, but then no longer exist uh, there we go that's that's better um, yeah they exist both in the ZC and on the side you know it's right there I'm just blind block pillar That's how it goes. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not e fully used to using the ZC notation to switch through my tiles yet. Um, I just realized that looks ugly. So let's fix that. Uh, same thing with this guy. That's sad. Um, 
Da. Huh. Nope, that's just not gonna work either way. Okay, that's fine. Nice call uh, on using these things. I'll get rid of get rid of that from my menu there and get this guy down there instead. All right. Uh, guess I don't need this double thick wall. Ah, I kind of like the double thick wall. Oh, there's another one I missed. Um, I believe it's because it was made first. It's like one of the very first trials of making it. And so, therefore, um, it was just different. It liked to be different. There we go. That's nice. All right, that looks better from a overview perspective. Uh, still not liking that, but eh, I can deal. Um, cool, cool, cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right, so back to this dragon hallway here. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Soldier A. We do have a... He does have an entrance that I'll have to worry about. to come back in and get that done. Don't know why I didn't like me dropping it there. Uh, was this just... This guy. Yeah, no, I didn't have those guys. Okay, didn't think so. Um, well, we're gonna make that one a candelabra. Give our guy a little bit of backlighting. All right, uh, he has his exit right here. And that's it. So we'll go ahead and make those some candelabras and opposite of our entrance area. Uh, and we'll fix these corners up. I know I got a one tile in here somewhere. There it is. I wish I could save um, slabs in my in a little shortcut bar, because uh, then I could just slab this, <laughs> these little pillars, and be like, there we go, done. <laughs> Entire pillar slabbed out. Um, Alright, that's a nice little hallway for our Durgan. Uh, let's go ahead and just place him. Uh, I usually don't place the Durgans, or the creatures, until uh, last. But my brain's like, nope, this one you're going to place. 
he's kind of the the whole idea of this place is it's his domain all right so uh that almost that completes most of this floor um now we just need this other section i made a pillar off to the side and copy i could um but then i'm just gonna have to scroll over to it anyway um especially once i start switching floors here in a minute um I don't know. It's a thought, but I have it here, so I can just plop, plop, plop. Done. Alright. Uh, so, let's see. This is our little, uh, our little fancy chamber. Uh, it is a small room. Let's try not to do the double walls this time. Let's try utilizing my existing walls. Uh, it's just slightly wider than that wall. Oh, see. Mm, eh, kind of messes with the floor a little bit. Uh, nope, I don't like that. Nope, I'm gonna have to double up on the walls. Oh well, it was a thought. It was a thought, a thunk, and failed. That's fine. Because I want that to be there. And it was not looking right otherwise, so. That does kind of block a little bit of the light that seeps through. Um, the place, though, so I don't mind it too much. Now that I'm looking at the map, it's actually about the same width as this other room. So maybe I can get away with it anyway. Oh, it actually, it's supposed to be the exact same width. piece in there. Thankfully, this is like the biggest floor of the dungeon. Um, or the most complicated anyway. The rest of the floors actually don't seem so bad in terms of their layout. So I imagine I'm going to spend the most time on this floor. And then after that, it's going to be... You know, I just need to get this Morgoth. Where's that single tile? get him in here all right so that's going to take care of that um, I need my carpet Most of this room is carpeted. Move that door. Heh. <laughs> Dungeons and Doggos would be insane. I haven't read that comic in a while. Um. I've been reading a lot of the Swords comic lately. I really enjoy the Swords comic guy and his stuff. His work makes me laugh. I have actually have a um, a whole folder in my bookmarks hotbar that is web comics, and then in that folder is a folder for each day of the week, 
and then in those folders are links for all of the web comics I follow that update on those days. And then in addition, I have a folder labeled random uh, for all those web comics that don't conform to an update schedule. Because there are quite a few of those as well that are just like, yeah, I just made a comic, it's uploaded. I'm like, okay, I'll take it. All right, so let's go ahead and get a candle up there there. Yeah, that should be enough to light up this room enough. Plenty. You know what? Nope. One there, too. Because symmetry is cool, guys. Alright. Uh, we have props, props, props. Is there a dresser? <laughs> I didn't think there was. Okay. Uh, we got bookshelves. You know, we got treasure chests. So we're going to get the treasure chests out. We got some leather treasure chests. All right. We're going to stick one in this corner. And one there. All right, now we're gonna build a little fun thing. We're gonna get the stair block, and pop four of them there. We have a half stair block, is that a thing? Half block. Yes, I can use that to do it. Cool. Not blocks and tint. But it works. And then we're going to get the carpet corner. And just... There. That gets us a nice little elevated carpet altar thing. Yeah. I don't like that being there anymore. It's going here. There we go. All right, now I guess there's just gonna be some bookshelves um, since there is no. Oh, there's a side table. Not quite the same as a uh, giant. That's a wardrobe. That's not a dresser. It's a wardrobe. Um, but the bookshelf will do. That is a big room. I think I made this room slightly too big. I don't care, it works. Um, I still do have to populate the place with some denizens. So, I can always take care of it that way. Alright, so now we got the library. The library looks to actually have an entrance into the other room as well. Eh, eh I'm not going to give it one. Um, we're just going to just going to build out here. Let's see. Three. Yeah, that'll work. Get our corner. And then this goes all the way to about here. Get another corner. And our little one by one. Now that's going to be. Yeah. Yeah, it's just going to be. Ah, nope. There. All right. We're all close to actually moving on to the next floor at this point. Um, there's a, we're gonna have a little hallway here, and uh, and then it's time to build some stairs going up and start on floor number two, and see how well we can get that to line up and work out. 
Um, floor number two is small, though. It's only two rooms and a hallway. Two rooms, hallway, and some stairs up to floor three. And then floor three is one room and some hallways. So, yeah, seems, uh, seems fairly simple. Um, let's get this carpet in here. Good night. Uh... Man, Tail Spire's really blown up over the last few days, and I love it. Um, congratulations for the Kickstarter, and you know it's gonna be it's it's gonna be a good time. Um, for those unaware, um, Baggers is one of the devs. Um, you know, now that I have, uh, I just now got enough stuff to do VIPs, I should make the devs VIPs on my server. Could totally do that. Give them a little, give them a little flair. Um, yeah, that seems, uh, seems a bit much. But I could. I could do it. No one could stop me. Mad with power, I, te I tell you. Absolutely mad. Alright, bookshelves. Uh, let's see. We seem to have... I'll alternate the bookshelves. To give it some... Sense of... Difference. Uh, this... The library seems to be like a two stack or three stack thing of bookshelves. I'm just gonna do two stacks. Uh, luckily I know I don't have any floor above this. Um, so this should actually work out pretty well. Huh. That's an interesting effect because of the, because of the skull. Um, oh well, that's fine, I don't care. Um, yeah! Kickstarter, Kickstarter, we did, we did a real good job on the Kickstarter, guys. Like, it was kind of insane. I'm really impressed with, with what we, with what we've done. You know, I think I noticed a pattern with, uh... With, Martin, with Marty's maps, and the fact that they always have a library. <laughs> um, this looks like it has, like, a... A workshop table? A work a workbench? I'd say it's a workbench. More of a workbench than a feast bench. So, that's what we'll go ahead and add, is a little workbench in here. And um, let's get some doors. Uh, it's just a simple wooden door here. And then a fancy door over here. And there we have our library. So now we have our foyer our uh, altar summoning summoning altar cheese summoner our um, chapel library treasure hoard and the dragon's hall um, so now we can just make this little hallway here that connects uh, this area to some stairs and then we can build up into uh, the first part of the entryway. And, you know, I like to think that this place actually probably isn't that populated. So our last uh, dungeon was filled with undead. Um, but I like to think that this place is the dragon's like, you know what, I don't need company. Um, so he has, like, maybe himself and, like, a few kobold. And that's it. He's not really... He's not really the company type. Uh. Mm, 
Okay, so that's actually right across from the door. We're gonna have that. And then... Just, just because, let's do that. Nope, that does not work. That's true! That's, I like that. Put a few ghosts. Uh, a few ghosts that have, that are now serving the dragon. They're enthralled after death. Alright. I'm not a fan of how that turned out. I know there's a wall without floor. I thought there was. Oh well. Small inconsistencies. Um, I'm not sure how I'm gonna do that spiral staircase yet. I might kinda open in this and tackle that at the very end here. Um, because I have no clue. I'm going to tackle that. That was the wrong spot. It doesn't go there. It goes there. All right. Hey, it's going pretty good, Jack. Thanks for stopping by. Um, just working on... We got a nice uh, Dragon's Lair chapel thing going on here. Um, it's a bit open. It's a bit spacious. Uh, yeah, um, so last week we actually built a, I'm not sure if you were around, we built a um, two-story two uh, dungeon. Um, this one's three, although the second and third are rather light. Um, where is that stair pillar? There it is. I remember how I do these again. There we go. Nice little staircase. Um, again, another instance where it's like, oh yeah, had I just waited. Get this corner in here. Create a little bubble. Oh, no, I can't. Oh. Uh, is there a lone corner? There is. That's not what I wanted. Oh, it's because there's no floor on it. I was like, why does that look so weird? There we go. Okay, can't quite see in there. There we go. All right, so get that floor tile back. Now I can get the stair tiles. It's real cramped. And then the stairs themselves. Yeah, I need to check out what Erwal did. Because um, I have no idea. Um, I just realized that actually may not work uh, the way I want it to. I will have to play around and find out. Um, so now we have over here. We have a similar structure going on. It's too wide. Which means I can just use my regular corners. Uh, then my stair blocks. Uh, 
All right, so let's add a floor here. This is actually a, uh, went from being a medium sized room to actually being fairly huge, um, considering this room spans from this staircase uh, to that staircase. Um, so this is actually a lot larger than I intended uh, to have this room be. But I will make it work. Gosh darn it, I will make it work. Alright, so let's go ahead and stick our boundary walls in here. So we know we're going to have that. Uh, we're going to get a corner lined up with that. that so there we go there um, we're gonna go out a little further let's see what we got there make it not quite as it's it's big it's a big area um, I mean, it's just not quite as square as uh, as Marty intended but it still functions. All right, I'm gonna need to actually place walls before I can go after that other corner because my death reception is terrible. Oh, curses. Oh, I did it again. Just gonna do that. And then this. And then we'll find out where that intersects. Oh no! Okay, that can be salvaged. Yep, that's that's decent. All right, so we got a hall opposite this, which actually means you get done. You know what? Actually, no, you're gonna get you're gonna only be one wide. I feel like that's appropriate. I don't know why I decided to make this one too wide and this one one, but you know, whatever. It's just just what I'm doing. Just what I'm doing today. Hey, our floor is actually like even tiles. It's just our walls are screwy. Yeah. And even then, it's just barely screwy, because I just screwed up placement. All right, uh, let's see. We need a one tile. Let's go there. 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 Get some doors in here. You get the big fancy ones. And you do not actually get a door. You just have a hallway. Technically, these don't have doors either. But I like doors because they obscure line of sight. So, doors they shall have, is what I say. Let them have doors. All right, this is a real big, crazy room. Um, so let's bust out some fancy pillows. 
I might be able to do something super fancy in here. I'm going to try. Okay, so just four over from that. All right. There. Nope. Too far. Two gap. All right. I think this will make it look sufficiently fancy. All right, so then we get another two, another set here. Make sure this is actually working the way I'm thinking it's gonna. Actually, I'll put them here. Instead of out. Oh, it's a two by two, that's why it's... Mm. Oh, the whole thing fits on a, uh, a bit of a chunk there. I might actually uh, save those, save those out for people uh, when I get done. Anyway, where was I? Give me... Just give me this guy. There we go. And then we'll make another. And then we'll get the broken pillars down here. Get them for this one. Yeah. Oh no. There we go. There. Oh, nope. There, the arch room. With including one crumbled pillar set, so. I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, we don't have a crumbled pillar for, for this set, do we? Nope. Okay, that's fine. I'll make do. Right. Yeah, see like already this the <laughs> the proportions on this are already like way off. Um I guess it's one of the problems with the isometric map style is like realistically one of these rooms is probably like heavily over another. Um instead I'm kind of like layering them as it's presented uh which is off. Um, makes it a little harder to line things up. Uh, but hey, it still looks good in the end. So, um, I am going to make the executive decision to omit that spiral staircase. It just straight up doesn't exist in my version. Did 
Gosh, I need it to be in this corner. There we go. And then I know there's a small corner that I've seen a few times and I always forget about where it lives. There we are. That doesn't look right. Neither does that. Whatever. Stopped caring about this little tiny, tiny area. It's designed to confuse adventurers. That's what we'll say. All right, so we have that room now. Let's go ahead and get our final room, um, which you know what? I am gonna make above this room. I'm gonna make a staircase that actually goes out, a bit of a hallway that comes out from our one room a bit. I don't know why I started using ones. And then it's going to corner And then it's going to go up. And then that's where we're going to kind of come back around. And we're going to make a hallway that basically mirrors this almost upstairs. Um, I forgot. Let's get some candelabras in here. Oh, this is not going to be symmetrical at all. No, no, no. There. Let's get some lights. Alright. Uh, let's see. So we're going to go ahead and encapsulate our corner here. Using this method again. Every time, click the wrong button on that. All right. So now we go up to our third floor, our entrance, as it were. So we're going to build around the sky in a way that kind of makes sense. Huh. I need to see how many will behave here. Let's just place down Mr. Korgoth. So if I block this off, just say with that, just because it's a whole thing. So if I place him here and I go to layer two, that just stops existing. Oh, that is brilliant. That does not quite look right. But it allows me to close this off functionally. Um, 
without causing too much of a ruckus. Although it does do that. Oh wait, that's because I have a... Nope, that is straight up the stair tile doing that. Uh, do I have... I have the corner small. Of course. It only does that because the... Because of the floor tile that sticks out on it. Oh well. I'm willing to accept it. Things are just a little off right here. Weirdly enough. <clears throat> it still surprisingly works. Um, Alright, so where were we? Getting into this room here. Uh, I'm going to put a fancy door there. Um... And then this room, just gonna come out to, oh, oh no. Oh, my fancy pillars. Guess I can't have my fancy pillars. Not unless I just wanna go up a floor of stairs. Kinda wanna go up a floor of stairs. I want my fancy pillars. Cut that. And we're just gonna continue up the stairs. I'm beginning to get into the wonky zone. Uh oh. <laughs> ah. Just one tile off. Alright, see if that works. Can I take a hero? Whoops. And plop him down this. I can! Awesome. Not quite how it was intended. Uh, I'm sure. I'm sure of it. But hey, you know what? It works. I will take it. Really enough, this still doesn't match up. There we go. There we go. Alright, now I can build and utilize my still have my fancy pillars down there in the corner um, so I'm actually just gonna make this room rectangular um, it's starting to get pretty late in my stream time and I don't want to sit here figuring out the strange geometry of this room uh, per se so we're just gonna make this a giant rectangle and then do fancy things inside the rectangle instead of making it a fancy shape. Oh, 
Oh man, I almost had that just right. Okay. Oh, because it's three. I was like, how how is this off? <laughs> because I actually had this entire thing off. Except I didn't. Nope, that's just... That's right. It just makes... Lining up corners annoying. Um... You know what, I'm gonna need a one tile entrance anyway. So let's just delete all that and get my one tile entrance over there. I always have trouble lining it up uh, once we get really high on the floors. Um, the de the the just this thing's my death perception that are real wonky. After this, I'm grilling out myself a burger because I am hungry. I hunger for more cowbell. All right, uh, so we do have this period of land over here. That's fine. Um, we got that there. We got regular flooring there. Um, there is the block wall, uh, which we can place along here. here and then use my little tiny pillar ah see there we go that matches just right <laughs> so it matches these little half walls um, it just doesn't match the uh, one tiles very well doesn't match the walls all right so that about gets that um, And then I will make some fancy pillar things out of I think just these guys will do. Um, well, they're kind of crumbly. Got some stuff in the dungeon tile set that's nice and crumbly. I'm sure we do. Base. That's pretty crumbly. Yeah, I know, right? Um, yeah, we'll do this guy so I can make little... Oh. Yeah, that works. These little, little bit of crumbled, crumbled black box. Um. Because then, I know I've seen people doing this right now, even though it's a little weird. We have in here somewhere, I think it's just the test floor. Yes, people have been using the test floor as their basics for water. <laughs> um, I thought there was a flatter version. Um, but I guess I was wrong. So that allows us to 
They're like, hey, this is not normal stuff. This is water. All right. There we go. Now we just need to finish our little entryway. Um, populate with some denizens. I'm not sure if I'm going to do well, what I did last time. Um, largely because it's getting late and I'm hungry. Uh, <laughs> apologies. Um, but last time I did do a, a kind of, hey, this is... Uh, put put a bunch of monsters down and did like uh, the one mode cutscene mode and made a lot of fancy things um, but I'll admit I'm just not quite feeling it today oh not getting that in there just right oh well fancy door up front that's fine um And we'll just put a few tiles here. Whoop. And this is where our players can enter from. We got <laughs> one floor that's just some stairs. Uh, it's fun. Um, all right, so let's just take a, a fly through of our dungeon here. So we start off at the top level. We come into this area full of water and ruined pillars. Ooh, that is some shiny tile. Um, it's just kind of a, a little abandoned area, a sluice. Oh, there is some space there that I missed. Let's get that guy. All right, so uh, then we go over here, and we start going down. We get to go down one layer, then another layer. Uh, we come in here into our our pillar room, uh, where we have two different ways we can go. Uh, the smart adventure might take the smaller door first. So they get to go on through here, where they will go on down to level one, and find this little seemingly d dead end hallway maybe you could build a secret room out here that would be kind of cool uh, they open the door and they find the library uh, where we can have some ghosts of different adventurers Ooh, good call indigo um, I will do that when I get back up top um, we come in here and we have a little t uh, little tiny altar and study type area here we have our cheese altar um, and it come, leads out to the chapel. Um, maybe this is built into a mountain because we had the entrance up top and we also have an entrance over here. So maybe there's some sort of, uh, some sort of hillside or something this is built into, um, where there's the two way exits. Um, we have our dragon horde filled with lots of treasure. Um, and then our dragon has this nice big hallway to breathe fire down, or whatever it breathes. Um, I like to think it's nice, ice dragon. I don't know why thematically it just, just this place makes me think ice. Um, but good call. Let's go ahead and put a chest out there. Yeah, I like that. A little bit of. Of uh, luring them out. Um, hey, you know what? Screw it. Let's go ahead and populate this with uh, with people. I am going to take. Uh, I'm not going to take the time. I think to screenshot this place out as heavily as I did the other one, like cutscene modes. Um, but I will. 
populate it, and I will still upload it onto Ocean Lord's slab site. Um, so let's see. Let's get some... Um, let's get just a, a regular old ghost woman down here. She's not even like some ancient spirit. She's just some some ghost. This used to be her manor. Um, let's see. We have... Oh, maybe the orcs. Maybe the orcs have taken up servitude. Since we don't have kobold minis yet. Um, orcs and goblins. So, we have a orc shaman here in the cheese room. He's, uh, he's got himself a bit of a ritual going on with the cheese. Um, we'll get some bashers in here. They're just kind of hanging out. I always like to balance around parties of four. Um, so you'll notice that in my encounter design. Um, I don't generally throw too much because I know just how crazy it can be when you have uh, a bunch of... Isn't there a goblin shaman? There used to be a goblin shaman. Is Oh, yeah, there he is, Blix. So, yeah, there we go. The two... The two casters... Kind of hicking it up over the cheese. Um, there's an evil spirit that roams the altar area. He just kind of watches out over where he used to preside. Then we got our dragon there. In the pillar room, I think we'd have a few slimes. I keep hitting the middle mouse button to, uh, to move these guys around. Oh, no. Mm, that's a problem. They do not like to move up to that. They will skip over it, though. Well, that's good. Okay, no, they'll still move there. I was like, that's a little, a little wonky, but... Oh, and of course, uh, one of the chests somewhere in this place is actually a mimic. Uh, cheese. Gotta have the cheese. Alright, uh, and then I think uh, maybe some... Scouts are gonna be up here. You know, let's put them at the end of the hall. I forgot it's a DM. I can just drag them anywhere and they, they'll just listen. Um, so let's go ahead and get them a little table that they're sitting at. This is our little guard booth. All right, I think there we have it. A nice and proper dungeon. A very eclectic dungeon. It has a lot of, a lot of odd, in, odds and ends to it. Um, definitely want to find something with more of a theme next build. I do, uh, but this will do for now. I, I feel pretty, pretty happy with how this turned out. Um, I should be still streaming a game hopefully this Sunday, for Waterdeep. So keep an eye out for that. I'll post about it. I need to make sure with my players to make sure it is still happening. I do believe it is. So thank you everybody for showing up. Uh, this will be up on YouTube and I will be op uploading these layers to Ocean Lord's slab site. 
thank you very much for coming by.